beautiful women. Shonda Rhimes served up the McDreamy sex lives of doctors in Grey's Anatomy and an illicit presidential affair in Scandal, with signature cliffhangers that kept us hanging on season after season. And now she's created a whole new world. So what's her secret? Tonight, she's taking ABC's Robin Roberts behind the scenes at Shondaland. You dropped the president, Annie. She's the brilliant mind behind those explosive TV moments. Iconic characters we fell in love with amid triumph and tragedy. <laughs> the cliffhangers that left millions begging for more. Hello, I love you. Dad. That woman, Shonda Rhimes. You're a little busy. I am a little busy. Busy atop a TV empire, which includes ABC's Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and now Fall's runaway hit, How to Get Away with Murder. She is the first creator since Aaron Spelling to oversee three back-to-back primetime shows, all on one network, all on Thursday night. Thursday night, Shonda's night. It, I'm excited. And then How to get away with murder. Shonda invited our cameras behind the scenes at the mothership here in Hollywood. The studios for her production company called Shondaland. Just like I imagined. I it's the place that holds all the secrets, where so many of those complex characters and legendary lines have come to life. What did you do? Yeah. You have a way of really connecting with people. You know, sometimes I'm really amazed because a lot of the time when I'm writing, it feels a little bit like I'm writing for myself or just for my friends. You know, I remember my first experience with Grey's, I felt like I was kind of just writing in my diary and it felt really surprising to me that everybody else was watching. Let's do it. In fact, for last November's winter finales, a combined 28 million people watched the three shows. And when Scandal first premiered two years ago, viewers witnessed a historic shattering of that glass ceiling. It's handled. As Kerry Washington became the first African-American actress in nearly 40 years to star in a leading role in a network primetime show. The last being Teresa Graves. You want to arrest you, girl. In the short-lived 1974 TV series, Get Christy Love. To know that you're a part of a show that is doing that. I want to pinch myself all the time. To be able to be a part of something like this, to be able to be a part of history, Shonda's history, to be able to be a small part of how she's transforming the world as we know it. I feel really blessed to be able to be of service to her in her journey. I love him. It's about authenticity and that your shows and your characters just reflect what it, we see in America. The, Television landscape should look like the world we see outside. It's not that big a deal. Um, the package that people come in is the package that they come in. What's inside is what's the most interesting thing. And this season, Shondaland is continuing to break the mold with their freshman legal thriller. How to get away with murder. Starring Oscar nominee Viola Davis. The new kid on the block, so to speak, Viola Davis. Viola Davis. Woo! That is... A miracle to me, right? Viola Davis on television? How is that happening? I still feel that way every single day. And Viola can't believe it either. You never thought that you, I don't, I can't believe you said this, would get a role like this. Yeah. That absolutely. at your, you said at your age, mm -hmm. you're cast as someone who's sexy. Yep. Absolutely. I'm usually people who are none of those things. How'd you get this? It wasn't exactly legal. And we just have to get creative. I would describe this show as everything Shonda Rhimes, as everything that's mysterious and tantalizing and salacious, but also something that's very character driven. It's very much about people being put in extraordinary circumstances and watching how they evolve, mm. watching how they, you know, hold up under the pressure. We bury the evidence. You got him to lie on the stand. I did my job. Can I ask you something? Yeah. One of the show's That's breakout true. stars, newcomer Jack Fallahy, who plays law student Connor Walsh. Critics have praised the show's gay romance storyline, a rarity on network television. And everybody couldn't stop talking about unforgettable Viola Davis moments like this. Talking about the leading women that you have, thank you. 
it is redefining how we look at the leading lady, so to speak, mm -hmm. in these types of, of shows. I feel like I get asked the question a lot, you know, how do you write these smart, strong women? And I always say, is the alternative stupid, weak women? Like, I don't know any of those. And nobody asks, how do you write smart, strong men? That's not a question that anybody's ever asked before. Nine years ago, here in the drama-filled hospital, Shonda began her craft of bringing characters to life. Adam, stop it! Ow. Seriously? Seriously! I feel like I put yeah. myself, a lot of myself, into the characters. I joked, I, somebody said, what does it feel like to get to write the voice of a black woman? Somebody asked me that about Scandal. And I said, well, you know, McDreamy's been speaking in the voice of a black woman for a long time now. You're ignoring me. Trying to. You shouldn't ignore me. Why not? because I'm someone you need to get to know to love. Ellen Pompeo has been Shonda's leading lady since the very beginning. So pick me, choose me, love me. These characters are in essence, that's how she thinks. Shonda just doesn't see political orientation, sexual orientation. She really sees the souls. I think she finds the soul in the character and cast it that way from the inside out, not the outside in. Between three shows and three daughters, Shonda is constantly trying to juggle it all. If someone says, how do you, Shonda, how do you do it? How do you balance it all? How do you have it all, girl? Whenever you see me succeeding in one area of my life, I'm clearly um, failing in another area of my life. And my best example was if I am going to my daughter's um, debut of herself in, the, in her, her school musical, I am missing Sandra O's very last night ever filming at Grey's Anatomy. Don't let what he wants eclipse what you need. It felt awful to not be able to say goodbye to Christina Yang, but it also felt like there was no question where I was going to be that night. I'm sure it felt like a failure to them that I was not there. Um, but I also did not spend time explaining myself because I am someone's mother. But beyond her gift for creating must-see TV, Shonda possesses boundless inner wisdom, which she gracefully imparted during her commencement speech last spring at her alma mater, Dartmouth. Dreams are not real, just do. So you think, I wish I could travel. Great, sell your crappy car, buy a ticket to Bangkok and go, right now, I'm serious. You wanna be a writer? Writer's someone who writes every day, so start writing. You don't have a job? Get one, any job ditch the dream and be a doer, not a dreamer. Explain what you mean by that. And I think that hard work and being a doer and taking every opportunity that comes your way, whether or not it seems like the most amazing one, is the way to go. And all that doing has taken Shonda to this monumental moment. Three shows, one night, and plenty of scandals, of course. Can we get any spoilers? She has the keys to the kingdom on Thursday night. Well, the queendom, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she has the keys to the yeah, queendom. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I know, it's amazing. I mean, to think that from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock, you are stepping into a land that is Shonda's. There's this beautiful balance in Shondaland between escapism and presence of mind. You get to lose yourself and escape into these imaginary worlds and really leave your own life because the storylines are so compelling that you get to forget about yourself